What if you could make $6,147 a week using AI? This is an article in Yahoo Finance called Make Money with AI and ChatGPT, How to Earn $1,000 a Month. You may have heard about Jackson Great House Fall. We actually highlighted him on a video uh, here, James. Uh, he asked OpenAI's ChatGPT to give him instructions to turn $100 into, quote, as much money as possible. He followed the chatbot's instructions and within days created an affiliate marketing website worth more than $1,378. Actually, to correct that, he actually made $1,378 within days and his website was valued at about $25,000. Another ChatGPT user claimed to make $6,147 in a week. So we're going to highlight four ways that you can earn at least $1,000 using AI. So how are people using ChatGPT to make money? Well, one of the ways is to write articles with the help from ChatGPT. The average freelance writer earns $68,690 per year, according to ZipRecruiter. That's much more than $1,000 a week. What if you could write faster using ChatGPT to help you outline and research? You could earn a lot more money in a lot less time. So you can use ChatGPT to help you write articles fast and then do some minor editing and you're off to the races. The second way is to use ChatGPT for social media management. You can also use ChatGPT to create effective and compelling social media content to help promote your affiliate website or somebody else's affiliate website, right? Influencers who are already earning money from social media can use ChatGPT to create more effective content faster. With ChatGPT as your assistant, you can also sell your services as a social media manager to other companies. And that's a big job. It's a very popular job, social media manager, right? Knowing how to use ChatGPT effectively to create the right type of content is a specialized skill. That skill will become more profitable and in demand as the program's capabilities grow. The third way is to use ChatGPT to create an app or a Chrome extension. This one gets me excited. ChatGPT doesn't just help people put words on the screen. It can also help with coding and programming. If you have an idea for an app or a Chrome extension, you can use ChatGPT to help you write the code. You could literally have ChatGPT create software for you. That's the third way. The fourth way to make at least $1,000 is to create effective marketing campaigns. You can always benefit from a comprehensive marketing strategy, even if you feel confident in your own ability to create content for websites or social media. ChatGPT can help you find your target audience and generate a marketing plan that works based on input from other successful marketers and the data that ChatGPT already has in its memory banks. So think about that. Uh, those are four effective ways, creating marketing campaigns, creating software, using it for social media management, and using it for writing articles. Uh, and we cover all these different ways on this channel. I mean, if you're interested in making money with AI, this is the channel you need to be subscribed to, right, James? Absolutely. And I wanted to comment on some of those items there. Number one, so many people are still in the kind of framework of I work a job 40 hours a week and I'm there for my 40 hours and I put in a good day. And I'm not saying people don't work hard, but a lot of people now are working from home where you do have evenings available to you. So there's a lot to be said about this whole kind of freelancer economy out there or having a second job. So in other words, if you had something that's going to pay you $70,000 to write articles and you know that you can either make those articles yourself or outsource those or use them with ChatGPT, you could potentially have another $70,000 in income with the same amount of time that you're already using or less time. Just because you sit somewhere for eight hours at an office, are you truly working for eight hours? What if you're working from home? You may be really working three or four hours at that job. You have another three or four hours of your eight hour day, let's say that you could be doing something like this. And that in and of itself could give you an extra 70K. So if I said to you, what if I could give you 70K raise on your job? You'd say, well, yeah, absolutely. Well, it's the same kind of thing, even though it's a second job. So it's just a different way to look at it. It's not about your hours. It's about leveraging and getting things done and therefore getting paid. That's the whole new kind of economy. And that's how it's going to go. It's going to be where a lot of people are going to have three or four jobs, not necessarily that you're working 120 hours a week, but you're going to be involved in different things. So the whole notion of like a gig economy or like a fractional CEO or someone that's ahead of a company for multiple companies, that whole notion is going to be spread out. So that's one big takeaway from this. Also social media engagement. I talk to a lot of people and they say, I want to get involved in social media. I just don't know what to talk about. Well, ChatGPT can be feeding you that information all the time. 
So there's a lot of money to be made. And a big takeaway for me for this particular video is really respect your time and recognize that you can get a lot done a lot quicker. Sometimes it's not exciting to people when they say, oh, this is a time saver. But if you equate that time saved to making more money, then it could be absolutely huge to your bottom line when you extrapolate that out over the whole year. So really think about that. Could you take on more or could you be more efficient? And therefore, it's not that you're begging for a salary raise, you can just get money on demand because you're taking on something else and using the power of AI to get it done. Yes. When you leverage AI, you dramatically reduce the amount of time that it takes to get things done. And you dramatically increase your ability to make money for that amount of time. So it's like a, a double-edged uh, leverage point, And it's really, really powerful. Uh, those are some great examples, James. And I think uh, people need to understand this allows you to do so much more in so, so much uh, less time. And in that process, you can actually have separate gigs, separate businesses, all working at the same time, which is kind of counterintuitive to what a lot of people say. But again, it's not like you're using your mind space for everything. You're actually assigning AI this, and you're assigning this AI that, and you're assigning this AI that. You get so much done. Over the weekend, I was just playing around with Midjourney, and I probably created about, uh, I don't know, three dozen coloring book pages because I want to actually put one of those coloring books out on Amazon. Uh, like we talked about in one of our previous uh, episodes. And I was just having fun. I was just like, okay, iterate on that. It creates four, right? Okay, uh, rework that. Four more. Rework that. Four more. Now, give me variations of this one. Four more. And so on. Uh, like when you can grow in fours, you grow very, very fast. And that's just kind of a, an example of how I can use AI to create something so quickly, so fast. Um, that it kind of boggles the mind. Imagine well, if I were to, to hand draw a coloring book that would take forever, right? And to your point, Dave, about having fun. So many people have worked a job for years and they hate it. I went to the Department of Motor Vehicles and it was just the worst experience. This person, she hated her job. Well, what if you can do this maybe on the side? Maybe you hate your regular job, but you can have fun. You can be creative. You can explore and get things done. It's a creative outlet. It's not just about taking on more work, being more effective. It's like, wow, like Dave said, having fun with this. Being yep. artistic. And and then, of course, if you can get paid for it, hey, even better. So look at it as a fun experience or at least make it fun. We love this stuff. We love AI. We enjoy it. And the money's coming with it. So then it's a win-win. You know, you hear that, follow your passion. Well, maybe you can make AI your passion. Maybe you can make that fun because AI is going to be everywhere. So you really, this is a time where you can have your passion, have your cake and eat it too, have fun and get paid. It's a wonderful, wonderful world that we're in. And that's the mindset I have is that this is a great time. It's not about, oh, all these jobs are going to be lost. It's no, look at all this new, exciting opportunity. When you have that focus, hey, the rest of the world might be crashing around you. But when you have that focus, you're going to crush it. And hey, you're having a good time. You're doing great. Everybody else can worry about themselves. Yeah. And just as important as it is to be immersed in AI, guess what? James and I immerse ourselves in AI every day, every week, every month, right? And we bring you the latest, hottest information for free, not just here on this channel, but also in our AI newsletter. Subscribe to our free AI newsletter. The link is going to be in the description down below. We strongly recommend that. If you're excited about AI like we are, then we're going to bring you all the hottest stuff that we've researched, that we've found about making money with AI. So we hope you'll do that. Join our subscribership it's totally free. It doesn't cost you anything. And uh, we look forward to seeing you next time on Making Money with AI.